Welcome back, beautiful people. And your girl is definitely going to get into to be continued. Did you guys see episode six? I want to say it is episode six. Did you guys see episode six? Because episode six was given. You know what I mean? I love Dr. Jai and Achi. Their love dynamic is so good. And let me tell you something. Episode 6 brought tears. Like, they brought the waterworks, okay? Because they brought it. Like, the, the depth. You understand the emotions Dr. J- Dr. Jai pulled up out of me. Okay? It was a damn good episode. If you watched it, did you watch it? Because I watched it and we going to talk about it. So let's get into this intro, shall we? Just say relations, okay. Medicated, how I'm patient, wasting time ain't the way. Cause I can see it on your face. I've been tossing, turning, staying up all night long. I've been calling, yearning, wondering what I did wrong. I can tell by your eyes, you got something to hide. So open your mind. If you don't know, now you know. Welcome back, back, back to Hashtag J Podcast. And it is your podcast with all of your BL content, BL drama series, a few BL man wise, BL anime, and all your gossip and gossip on your real BL at what we gonna be giving our unapologetic opinion, okay? So if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And you already know, hello, hey girl, hey, to our returning subscribers i a one day ones we love you down and you already know we gotta get into this discussion on to be continued let me tell you something this bl drama is given it is serving and we here for it we here for everything that they're giving okay so I think the last time I talked about this series, it was episodes one through three. So we are going to get into into the topic of episodes, let's see, four and five. And then we just going to slowly ease back into, you know, episode six. Okay. Now. Four and five, we get a bit more backstory basically on what really happened to these two and why they were on such bad terms, especially Dr. Jai, who seems to have the strong form of disdain, disappointment, and the one who seems very reluctant to want them two to be together. Also, in hindsight, we also get an input on uh, his brother, Key and Dr. Pei, who's also in cahoots with Archie trying to get with Dr. Jai. Now, back then, you can see in the flashback that the the best friend Pei kind of already had an idea that Jai was in love or had some type of feelings for Archie because he paid attention to the dynamic of their friendship. It's a lot of cues that you see how they interact with each other that you know, okay, it's a little bit more than just friends that hang out and like to enjoy an occasional popsicle every now and then, you know? So Pei kind of knew what it was when he basically saw them interact. And Pei and Jai's younger brother, Ki, is in cahoots with Achi on trying to get Dr. Jai. Now, within these episodes, you find out that um, Achi's ex-girlfriend, Mona, comes back into the picture and she tries to see why, you know, what really was the reason why Achi and her didn't work out. And Achi basically told her it wasn't her because she started to feel like maybe it was her. And if she came back and maybe a little bit, you know, did things a little bit differently, maybe they can work. So he explains to her it's not her. It's basically him not wanting to be with anybody but the person he's really in love with. So he make, you know, make amends with that. 
Now, Dr. Jai is going through the emotions of just basically really going full gusto into his career. He encounters a few patients that basically stir up a few flashbacks concerning more so with him and Achi. Also, we see something happens with Achi's, um, with Mona as well. She hurts her ankle, which requires them to come to the hospital. And then he brings August, which is the little boy that lives in the building. And even August is trying to get them together too. You know, August has a, a little low key way of telling Dr. Jai that it's something about Achi that he trusts him and he feels that they should, he feels that he should be more nicer to the handsome guy is what he calls. So we get a little interaction there and we start to see that Dr. Jai starts to really softens up to Achi because he sees that Achi's being a bit more consistent with being there for him and pushing for a restart on this friendship. We also see a little, you know, lip to lip action when Dr. Jai let Achi stay the night and they get the kissing and the kissing. Okay. They get the kissing and the kissing. And when you get to the third session of the kissing, that's when Dr. Jai put his hands over his mouth because he had a flashback. And we not really getting really close to why they, you know, in the sticky mud that they were in in the beginning. But we, I, I feel like we may be getting a little close. But every time when I feel like we're getting close to it, it's like they make up in the flashback. So I'm like, that can't be the reason. You know what I mean? We find out that Dr. Jai didn't really get with um, Pear. They were more so friends. It was an interaction where Achi was trying to stand up for Dr. Jai. This is what happens in episode six. As I'm talking, I'm realizing this now. <laughs> Um, but Pear is someone that is talked about in four and five. I'll later on talk about that in episode six, but we get more context in that situation with Dr. Jai and Pear. And the reason why I bring it up, because in four and five, you can see when Dr. Jai, his younger flashback self, wants to get with Achi friends, Achi friend Pear. Achi is really heartbroken, especially when Dr. Jai says to him and Pei that he wanted to bring Pear to the movie that him and Achi went to. And Achi was really hurt because for Achi, that was him and Jai really spending a moment because I think when he watched that movie, he thought of Jai. And also, that's when you really get an understanding that Achi was in love with Jai from when they were younger. And you see they have a few moments, especially when they're by the lake, where you can see that Jai is kind of questioning his sexuality and he's kind of questioning who he's attracted to. And I feel like when he insinuated he wanted to date Pear, it I feel like from watching it, he was forced he was forcing a narrative on himself to try to basically put the thoughts of his attraction to Achi out of his head, but it didn't work because the interactions between him and Pear, he kind of only saw Pear as a friend. And as the more him and Achi hang out, you can see the depth of their emotions get deeper, especially on both ends. It's hyperactive on Achi because Achi shows that he's attracted to Jai, and when Jai do certain things, you can see he's emotionally hurt. Uh, Jai is a, a every, you know, every once in a while, you'll see where he's really, like, questioning the moments, but you get more of it in episode five and episode six. But just the fact of Jai wanting to date Pear really hurt Achi. Achi was really hurt by it. And I think Pei noticed that Achi was hurt by it too. So it's something, listen, Pei and he is not low. They riding out with Achi like, listen, you're going to get broke, see. You're going to get broke, bro. We're going to help you. We're going to help you 
get Berbera, okay? Because this has been long overdue, okay? So, now we're going to get into the context of episode six. Now, episode six brought back memories for Dr. Jai regarding his mother passing away from breast cancer. We find out that she had terminal breast cancer. He didn't know. Um, basically, you you found out a little bit of that in the early episodes. The mother didn't want to tell him because he was busy in his studies and she didn't want to mess up his train thought in regarding his studies being a doctor. So he talked about how his mother had terminal breast cancer and she found out too late and she ended up dying. The reason why this comes up because he gets a patient who is a young boy, a young soccer player who comes in about knee pain, and when he does an x-ray, x-ray, he realized that the gentleman may possibly have cancer. And the boy's mother doesn't really take it very well. She is very nasty, and she comes for Dr. Jai. You know what I mean? So in the midst of her coming for Dr. Jai, in the midst of Dr. Jai getting his ass slightly handed to him by the mother, and the son is in shock, Dr. Jai starts to basically get into a bit of a stupor because he's taking it all in. But little do he know that Achi's on the other side of the door because he planned on surprising him. With the help of that bestie, oh, bestie. So. I love how Achi came in and he turned things around. Once Dr. Jai came out just to get a breather and take a minute, Achi notices Achi's there and he realized that Achi has heard what went on between him and the patient's mother. And Achi suggests, let's go get some, let's eat, let's eat. We need lunch. And in the midst of having lunch, Dr. Jai was able to express his feeling, talking about the past, certain things that I think may he may have never talked about, but also addressing how the past is correlating to what is happening now with the patient. And Achi was able to give Dr. Jai some comforting words, reminding him that the difference between his mother and that patient is now that he is a full-fledged doctor and he is able to save this patient's life versus his mom, and also that he cannot take on the strides and the death of his mother and put the blame on himself that he was not able to be there or able to assist the type of care that he gives his patients to his mother when he felt that she really needed him the most. Let me tell you something. It is something about Achi. Achi knows how to speak to Dr. Jai and just bring him into like a good space. And this is why these two work. You know what I mean? Achi knows how to just tell Dr. Jai, it's okay, boo, it's okay, I got you. You know what I mean? He knows how to come in, you know, whip it up, make things work, and we here for it, we loving it, and it is what it is. Now, <laughs> when it came to Dr. Jai getting the support from his coworkers and basically his superiors on what he noticed that could be a possibility going on in the young boy's knee. I love how the friends came together and they supported Dr. Jai because he really needed it. This was a situation regarding a young child with cancer and just him knowing what cancer was like with his family. So I feel like this is his, like kind of like his first cancer patient and it's just he needs help and navigation through it but we gonna watch a quick clip of how them friends held him down okay so let's get into it let's get into it พอดีอาจารย์หมอเห็นฟิล์มแล้วนะคะแล้วก็เห็นด้วยกับหมอค่ะเราพยาบาลจูแล้วครับพอดีอาจารย์หมอตามให้ไปช่วยดูอีกเ
มือสองคนได้ดิฟังก่อนแม่เป๊ะว่าจิเขาจะให้ช่วยอะไรสำหรับหมอจีอ่ะได้ทุกอย่างแกด้วย
his 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 degree for architecture and he suggests that he makes his chickens a chicken coop but he also helps him by putting it in a better frame because the frame was broken and he don't practice that very well he snaps like a snapping turtle at gumby and gumby's like this is my cue he did a spongebob i'm heading out on that ass. he did i'm heading out on that ass and he realized that he fucked up. He fucked up with his future bag. It's like, no, bag. I didn't mean it like that, you know? So when it comes to Key and Dr. Jai and their father, you can tell that there is something going on in that household. And the mother was the glue that kept things together. And now everything is just out here in the atmosphere. You know what I mean? And Gumby may be able to help Key resolve his issues. Gumby more lighthearted and happy and I like Gumby. Gumby is dope. He's real light and he needs that because he is a lion. As you can see. Like at first you like, oh he's fun. But then you like, oh you a lion. You a lion. You a lion. So this series is given. It is given. Episode six was on point. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And if you haven't watched it, I tell you go check it out. And you know, we gotta give that, we gotta give it, give it that, you know, that it deserved because it was just so damn good. If you're not watching this series, I'll tell you go check it out. Before we end this video, I have been watching, I haven't finished um, on the last recent episode, but it's gonna be a conversation we're gonna have in the next few videos. I wanna say it's gonna be the next video along with other series but only boo is a good bl series it's a mini bl series like i said i'm not gonna get too in depth into it because i haven't caught up to the most recent video um episode i have to watch that one but mook is a vibe and kang is a vibe mook and them doughy adorable eyes and just the fact that he wants to be an idol so bad but i love it like he's low-key mischievous and then you got kong that's stoic but he's a jack of all trades painter cook and a philanthropist what can you ask for both of them are rich it's not one poor and one rich but i think the both of them are rich because Mook's mother works with idols and Kang's mother owns a restaurant in the town. And apparently he got money. We also have Ink from Bad Buddy that appears in there as uh Kang's best friend Ness. So so far this series is given. And we gonna talk we're gonna talk about it because I'm excited for they get together because the way Kang does that stoic look, the way he looks at Moo, it is like. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. You guys already know if you like, love, and enjoy our amazing reaction videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. It is a free way to support the channel. Also, we're going to end this, this video on a light note. We're going to end this video on some good old wholesome Achi. Some good old Achi and Jai. Positive energy. They was giving us episode six. You know what I mean? We're going to end the video just like that. Like always, guys, be you. Be amazing. Most importantly, be safe in these crazy streets. Let us beautiful people. <laughs> oh, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. <laughs>
มาดาดังมึงมาดิบรีบลุกเลยถ้ามึงจะให้กูติวเนี่ยเออเขียนแฟนชิพให้กูด้วยเอาเสื้อเสื้อเขาให้เซ็นมาสุดท้ายแค่เนี้ยเดี๋ยวกูของมึงต้องเจอกันอีกเรื่อยๆเขียนอะไรเยอะแยะแล้วถ้ามึงไม่ได้เรียนที่เดียวกูก็ไม่เป็นไรถ้ากูไม่ติดมอเดียวกับมึงกูก็หามอเอกชนใกล้ๆมอมึงหรือมึงจะมาอยู่บ้านกูที่กรุงเทพก็ได้นะเยี่ยมชิปพร้อมกับลายมือไก่เขียวของมึงด้วยพี่มึงจะนอนเมื่อไหร่เนี่ยสักพักYeah. 